Hello, I am coming to you with one of my DIYs that I love to do. Um, I will start off with, I love doing DIYs because I know exactly what's in every single thing that I do. Um, and the products that I use, one of them are Young Living Essential Oils, like tonight's will feature Thieves. Um, and I only use Young Living Essential Oils because I know the exact products that go in here. Um, if you don't believe me, check out seedtoseal.com and you can see the whole entire process yourself. I am not a doctor. I do not tend to treat, cure, diagnose, none of the stuff that a doctor does. But I want to bring you a DIY that we do that we use dearly, um, having two kids we use it all the time it is our on-the-go water um, based hand purifier the reason that I love making a hand purifier is because there are so many toxins and yuck into the store-bought hand purifiers these days that it's scary and on top of it the alcohol based um, hand purifiers, hand sanitizers actually do not cut the proteins for food allergens. So that's why I use a water-based formula instead of having alcohol in there. Um, and we'll go into the exact um, ingredients here in a minute. But first I want to tell you a little bit about Thieves. Um, Thieves essential oil is a blend of different essential oils and it's based on um, the whole 15th century um, legend of the thieves going into the homes with the Black Plague and basically robbing places. That's what it's based on. Um, so we are going to get going with this. This is my Y Oil Into Young Living um, because I love the smell. It's a great close, um, spicy, warm scent that it gives off. So let's get going on making this DIY. Okay, so what we need is I have just a measure and pour glass cup, um, just a funnel. If I had a bigger metal funnel, I would use the metal funnel because Young Living Essential Oils, their oils are nice and concentrated. So since this one has lemon in it, which is a citrus oil, there's a chance that it could eat the plastic with my hand purifier bottle. Um, I really don't care about the bottle too badly. I usually switch this out about once a month because it's from the dollar store. It's about a two ounce bottle um, and then it just has a squirt top to it. So there's that and then I also use aloe vera gel and the water that I use is from our drinking water um, because if you use water out of the tap, it actually could cause bacteria into the product. So let's get started. First off, we need the aloe vera gel and we need about an ounce of it. In the winter time, I like to add just a little bit more because the aloe um, helps with dry hands and helps to moisturize it. So we'll get about an ounce, just over an ounce. Um, and then we'll add our oil to the aloe gel because the aloe actually works as emulsifier. And we'll do, um, you only need about five drops because like I say, a little bit goes a long way. I usually like to get a little bit more because I love the scent of thieves. And then we'll just top it with a little bit of water. So we have about that two ounce total. And then we'll put it into our container. And we're gonna watch me spell. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is one of our easy, easy, easy DIYs. And that's all you need. That's all you have to do. I just kind of gently shake it before each use and then I will 
Put a little bit on the palms of my hands. Again, don't need much. And you're ready to go. We will see you guys in the next DIY.